Hello, this is High Templar. Welcome to my Thrones of Britannia Legendary East Angle campaign. And we are somewhere like less than 20 turns in, I believe. And things were going well, and there is the update. Update bringing allegiance and decrease. So things were got... will get a lot worse. Alright, so it starts from some places rebelling a lot. Alright. Oh, they are decrease. I can do something. I can increase allegiance. Yes, I can dec increase allegiance. Will that make my problems go away? Now that's minus 10 from allegiance, so that obviously will. It's minus 11, so... No, allegiance is only 5 in here. Zero here, actually. But this place is getting plus 5 from characters. This place, I cannot even put a governor in here. Plus 6 from characters, interesting. Alright, so, like, this place is close to rebelling. 11% of rebellion. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie. But I'm more worried about 8% here. Let's see what governors we have. And where do I presign? First, let's see what we have. Norfolk. We have... Some industry, some farming, not a lot, some commerce, a lot of commerce, huh, and very good public order, like, amazing. But this is quite a lot of commerce in this province. Then we have Suffolk, which has farm, commerce, commerce church. Not a lot, actually. And bad allegiance, for some reason. This brings allegiance up, but otherwise it's bad. Public order and corruption. That would solve some of our problems, but the income right now is so low, it would just break things, unfortunately. Income from copper, iron, wood building chains, not. Income from church, interesting. Things have changed a lot. Mill is always very, very good, but I, we don't have it yet. It seems that nothing Yeah, it seems that nothing is actually very good for except for this building for allegiance and we have minus 10 here. So we'll have to swap in some guys. This is very very good province. Farm, income, commerce, commerce, industry, farm, and commerce. It's decent, but not like similar amount of commerce as in high up. This place is zero. Huh. It only takes food. I might as well just untax it for now before I will bring anything here. Yep. This place, high food, low wealth. Two churches, huh. All right. And that's all. So let's... Uh, Let's see what governors do we have. 
I have one free. I have this guy, but he's uh, he's heir to the throne, so he's like minus 25 upkeep to things. Actually, he's young. He he. I think he just just got into the age that he can do something. Oh, he's such a good governor. Minus corruption and all that. That's very good governor. But he, this upkeep costs right now. We just need it. What's this guy? Vanquisher, public order. Skillful, boring, defender. He's very good. But he doesn't decrease cost of the troops. Alright, alright, alright. That's not what I wanted. Governors. Eogil, you are in the province that brings nothing. And you are boring, handsome, proud, and merchant. You are in not the best place, I would say. You would be very good in some other place. Then we have in East X in East Sexa, Anlaf, who's a preacher. He's pretty good. He would be good here, but we already have a lot of public order. And we don't need more. You, you know when we do need public order and the situation is not great here. And those guys also have a church. Suffolk. So Anlaf is going to Suffolk. Also Anlaf is has decent on income. Right. So you are where well, you shouldn't be, that's for sure. Ingvar. Well, who are you? Bit more from everything, I guess. Bit more from industry. All in all, very wow, plus seven public order. That's quite insane, actually. This guy, this has now minus five, which is a lot better. Norfolk also have plus a lot, fine, yeah, plus 7 from the character. Now this place has plus 3 from the characters, this place 0, we need to put a really good guy here. Yeah, so let's see who do we have, we have This guy, who is really good at income, but not good at public order. Henvar is... He's bringing stuff up. Construction costs... He's, really, he's decent. Unlock, we just got him to do... That, so... It's not our guess. Carl. Carl is... We need to have him somewhere. Local enemy province doesn't bring anything to us, but... He has plus two faction legions and plus two usurpers, so I guess that's... Nothing. Income...
Laughing. Oh no, that's not somebody I want. Oslag. He's a pacifist. He's good at incoming general. Let's put him in... That was Carl. That was Oslag. Right. Now it's minus 4 and minus 5, which is a lot better. This place is still 4, which means... And it doesn't really... There was a boring guy here. Where was the boring guy? Car was... Was Carl a boring guy? Meet Sexer. No, this was this was the boring guy, and he's a merchant. Carl is Carl is decent. All right, so yeah, things are better now, but there still are chances of rebellions in a few places. Minus four, minus two, minus five. So I will need to build a second army soon. Like, next turn or something. Right. Alright, so I, I guess that's it. I can have a degree which will increase my research rate, but at this point... No, I don't think so. For three turns only. Degrees. These are new cool things. That is super cool. For 10 turns you can have like plus 10 faction agents, which will nullify a lot of bad stuff. But right now I only have problem in single province. I think I can wiggle it. That's a technical term. Let me make sure that I haven't done something silly. Unlock is here and he's just and has some commerce and church and all income, which is pretty cool, because that's a good province. And Oslak is good at public order again, decent at more money, which is good. Eovil, which is income and commerce in a place that doesn't bring any. Oh, well, that's not great, obviously. Carving here. He's a good guy. Most public orders going to the to here. He's also decent. Maybe I should replace the East Oslak. Plus 4 to the guy that has plus 7. I think I should. Alright. Yeah, that will upload like if we do anything <laughs> do not actually we have in enough food wow hearing english really good now i just need to invest more in the commerce we have replenishment chance 
decreased, but allegiance, diplomatic bonuses, all of this is very, very useful. Some people like us. I hope you repay my hospitality with fair words. Sufficient military access. They like us. Well, that's insulting. Okay, fine. Who also like us? You like us. We didn't even declare war on Mears and already people like us. Mears like us. Stenborg has to like us. Wow. Some people just like us so much. Your visit is most welcome. Can I get some money out of you? I can, alright. Alright, so 300 was sufficient, but that was insulting. Alright, I get you. We ascend. I will declare war on the mirrors and then things will get better. Right now I need to invest a bit because we need more money. And one of the things I can do is do here. So this is church, bit of commerce, more commerce and food. So obviously commerce is the biggest thing here. And this would increase commerce, but apart from that not do much. Copper iron wood buildings, this are not here at all. This will interestingly increase uh, from farms and churches, which we both have but decrease public order as well, which we probably should not do. So it seems that, yeah, the church is not an option right now. It seems that the tanner is the best choice, but not, not at this very moment. We should build nothing here, basically. That's only plus 10 food, that's bad. What can we do? We can do this. Fishing. Or this, which is much better, obviously. We can build mint here, which means we can build a lot of cooler stuff as well. This also brings us food, not only commerce, but also food. Here we are doing badly, but we will do a lot better because this guy... Because this guy, once, it will, once he will load... Wait, what? Oh dear, okay, I uh, made a mistake. Who was the guy that was plus 7 to public order? That's plus 3. That's super weird. I could have sworn that one of those guys was plus 7 to public order. This guy is plus 4 and he is already in East, which is good. Carl is nothing? Weird. Anlaf in Suffolk. He's plus 3. Have I...? It's weird. One of those guys was plus 7 and now he's 0, which is 
more than slightly annoying which means I cannot do salt in here very annoying this place is plus four I can I can't do much if I upgrade this I know I can build uh, cool stuff in London I could produce no oh, this place is not the greatest This place is actually decreasing the upkeep of my units and I have units there. That is something food income Income from commerce, income trade wide. Or sheep. I think the beach port would be the best at this very moment. So let's do a beach port. I'm guessing that this is a mistake on the game part and it will fix itself soon because there was a guy who had plus seven for sure all right then yeah I will join war against mirrors I just need to move with my main army it would seem that if I go here I would be just able to support this army in attacking and taking control over this entire province which is great and this guy will be able to take control of this if I declare war on them like this for a second which I think I will, because you declared war on them, right? Yes, you did. So if I talk to you, and I'm going to join wars, war against... Yes, Norman, alright. I wasn't expecting you so soon. This is sufficient, but will you pay me? Okay, like 500. Sufficient. 700. Intriguing. 600. I'm going to get 600. It shall be so. And. Steal that place from you. Let's totally do that. As we'll pledge our service. Yeah. And now let's find a guy who has estates. Uh, lowest. Eovil. Zero. Oh, that was easy. Let's get, let's get Eovil. And assign him a new. We are still down, so. Carl. And Hegbar as well, Carl. Alright, so we are fine now. Good. And we maybe possibly have money or something more. Or upgrade, basically. 
something that's possibly not a farm. I mean... It will bring me a bit more money and a bit more food. And it seems that those places do not bring as much food as they used to. Yeah, let's let's just upgrade this farm then. Right. And I moved, I moved, I'm running myself to attack. You cannot attack him. You cannot attack him. Good. And I just claimed Dorchester. Alright, fine. Whatever. We'll be fine. We have more food and more income. We will get much better troops soon. Okay, like secondary slot building sounds very cool actually, but uh, obviously military for us is something we need to do more than anything else. Okay, let's end the turn and see what will what will come out of that. You can rely on us. Oh yeah, so now that we have a war. Hello there. Remove your traveling cloak and sit down. Arrange marriage. We will have a really good governor. Insulting? Wow, okay. Is that so? You like us, even that we have a war with you. Interesting. A brother in arms is always welcome. Right, so Brega. I hope you repay my hospitality with fair. We can do like military access with Brega or obviously that will not work. What? Are you telling me I can you can be my vassal kingdom? Huh. All right. And I can get gold out of that. All right, yes, then. please. The worst case scenario, I will get some enemies from there. Alright, alright, alright. Seems that You honor my household. Seems that we are more or less fine. Yeah, we will got a bit more money. Because of that. My income dropped for reason that I'm not Enemy blood not really known to me. We'll I haven't done anything to drop my income, except for moving around gover uh, governors, so it's possible that it didn't actually yet catch that I changed governors. That's possible. I dropped in here King English for some reason, that, that dropped everything.
Alright, that's not the best. I'm not sure what happened here. It was higher. I didn't do anything. Alright, never mind. Let's end the turn and see what will happen. Is it because of war against Mears? That's probably because of war against Mears. Had to be done. A true king leads from the front by his deeds and noble example. Okay. I got like few your achievements. Hand, people are united. Five? Joined at last in common cause. The annals of history will talk of your deeds in reverence of this great feat. All hail. Yeah. The condition must have changed. I have already completed short victory kingdom. Obviously we will continue that campaign. Yeah, keep going to presents, obviously. I need to get back here. Oh, that's great. We got there. Dark here. What's now? Minus two public order. That's not great. Let's just say that. And I'm Dane low now already. All right. Minus six here. That's fine. I have decent income now. This is minus two. This is minus three. It's not best, but it's not bad. And I can totally take this place. And continue attacking, taking those those small settlements. By no means. Well, some of them. I will not get all of them. But yeah, let's. Uh... Enemy blood will flow. Let's make a siege. Yeah, just continue. One will have to do. How far this goes? Let's move here. Yes, we do support this army, this army, and we are replenishing, which is. Obviously what we wanted. And we need to get another army and... The worst chances of something going badly is between here and here. But the closest place that have a forge is here. And also, this place is not doing so well. So let's create a new army here. And... Yep. Yeah. I mean, lighting will have to... I know you are super good, the governor, but... What I need is two spears, two of those guys, single scout, and and I run out of money. Um, those guys have more armor, a lot more damage as well, but no shields. Interestingly, I can get calf, but I cannot get Aglian Riders. Yeah, they, they are cheaper. Oh, 
Alright, let's get this guy. Or maybe I can get some money out of diplomacy. No, I'm only at war with Mears, right? Yeah. And Mears is at war with everybody. Once we are there, we can go back and take out Derby. Mears is super powerful also. But we will try not to fight with them actually. Which sounds silly that we want for those guys to fight with Mears. And then... Because West Saxa is still number one, right? Yeah. And I am number four. One way or the other, we do want to steal some settlements if we cannot do with this guy. Well, I mean, we, we cannot steal that one, we will steal this one. We will, you know, figure out something. It's possible that uh, Sudsexa will take both of them. We will, you know, wiggle that, do something. We, we, we will, it will work. What I need is a little bit of money. Well met, friend. Let's talk. Will you give me? No. Now that we are enemies of Mears that is at war with almost everybody. You are the vassals of those gangs, right? Maybe. I will hear what you have to say. Yeah, this is insulting for them, this is insulting as well. How about it is always a joy to receive a friend? Yeah. We can get declaration of friendship and then we will be able to get into that. Okay, so obviously not 500, but 300 for declaration of friendship. Yeah, that will work for us. Ah, yes. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Yeah, they don't want to be our vassal kingdom, but they will die, so we don't really care. Now... Now we can get an army. An alien rider. And that's a semi-decent army. I could get one more spear. Or... Just to hold, basically. Angian Rider is to kill. Those guys are also to... Yeah, I think spear. They are quite decent. Surprisingly decent at what they do. And now the Isexa will not rebel anymore. And if any of those places will, we can come to them reasonably fast. And those guys guys have silver shields and armors. And our income didn't drop that badly. Some of things some of those things will upgrade. I mean, yeah, maybe not that many. Only this will upgrade, but it will still be more commerce and the pottery and stuff.
Now the governors. Have I made a mistake? Yeah, you are doing plus seven. You are pretty decent at what you are doing. Great. Right, so... I guess we move. We've made our new army. We will probably take over those units and make this a single army. Right now we are trying to balance economy and everything else. Once we do get more control over what we are doing and once this is done, next turn, we will be able to do more. And then a lot more. Right. So there, let's end the turn. Since we're out of movement and out of money. We are in all green food-wise, which is always nice. I wouldn't mind our vassal kingdoms would join in the fight. Yeah, those guys are dead. Quite interesting. Alright, so I will finish on that note. Yeah, obviously those guys just took it. But I will take this, which will give me control over this entire province. That should not be that bad. I'm already Dane low. We don't care. We care what's going on here. This would be very, very interesting. We have some decisions to make. Obviously, shields are very, very good. But replacements for Anglian and... Yeah, all those units would be good as well. I think I have at least few of them in my main army. Yeah, I have both Sword Hillmen and Anglian Riders. Yes, actually. No. So only Anglian Riders upgrade here. Long Axemen, these are these upgrades to To the Dano Axis? Is it like that? Yeah, th this, sorry, Seal Axon. Alright. So the b very basic ones. Still, it wouldn't be bad to get that. And then this is not something we take. We will probably go with the shields or missile ammo and missile damage. That's really great actually. That is something we would really like. Like, really, really. Alright, but this will be in the next episode. As you can see, we are doing reasonably well. We have established, we have taken more territory, we have finished Short Kingdom, we have some defense force that is able to crush the rebellion within two, two turns. Oh yeah, maybe not the rebellion will be here, but it will still be a crushed rebellion pretty soon. And it's not going terribly bad. And that's it. I hope you like it. If you did, press like on if you will, and see my other videos as well, some mechanic videos. 
or some guide videos that I do in Total War series, but also the let's plays in this and other games. See you later, bye!